Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again. Welcome to another really cool tutorial. I'll show you guys how to do this uh, beautiful uh, honey slash maple syrup sort of an effect. Um, it looks delicious, doesn't it? So um, just gonna sh show you guys quickly how to do this. And uh, here's a little video that I uploaded my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so it is going to be a very quick tutorial. So let's get started. But before getting into today's tutorial, if you are new to my channel, you're very welcome. And if you feel like uh, supporting me, you can show your appreciation by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. And if you want to get the project files for all the tutorials and support me and my channel, you can go ahead and support me on my Patreon page and become a patron. And you will get access to the project files, um, you know, for all the tutorials that I will be doing the whole complete setup and everything so you can go ahead and join me there and uh, yeah let's get back to the tutorial all right so here I am inside 3d studio max where my setup is there and uh, I have a fairly simple setup so the very first thing that I uh, I want to make sure that you guys keep in mind is that you're going to customize unit setup and I'm working in centimeters, so one unit is one centimeter. And by the way, you can find this project file in my Patreon page, so you can go ahead, check it out. The project file, this setup and everything is there, so you can just go ahead and simulate and render it, and that's it. All right, so uh, after you set your unit setup, you want to go ahead into your Phoenix FD um, here, and you want to create a Phoenix FD liquid sim. So I just created a grid here, and the next thing you want to do is create your emitter. So I got my sphere here, which is going from left to right, like this. And the next thing you should create is a Phoenix liquid source. So I just created it here. And you want to go into the modify panel and add it to the emitter notes. So add the sphere here. And the only thing that I've made a difference here is I've uh, kind of like gave it a 0.5 uh, noise strength and the other thing is I've animated the outgoing velocity to be zero on frame uh, about 250 so you can see that's animated so I just hit N and just keyframe it to be like zero on the frame 250 so it's zero and it will stop emitting the liquid and that's what's happening here so you go there and you there you see that it stops emitting all right so uh, the other thing I'm going to do, uh, the main settings of the grid, so I'll just go through them. Um, so I'm just going to go through the grid settings and I will say that it, is, it was a very, uh, you know, sort of experimenty sort of an effect. I had to play around quite a few times in order to get this desired effect. So um, starting off from the grid uh, rollout, we have the resolution of the grid. So I ended up using 95 97 million total cells, which in this case I think is not, I mean it's good but it's not like great so you can you can definitely go and increase it but I had to render this like over 100 hours so I mean the simulation was not that much time consuming but the rendering was so you can you can go ahead and increase uh, the resolution and the other thing you have to do is after you're done with the simulation you can add a turbo smooth or a relax modifier which I did which will help make it smoother. All right, so going off to the main settings, which are the dynamic settings. So I had to turn up the gravity. I don't know, for some reason it was simulating, it was coming down a little slow. So I had to increase the gravity. And steps per frame for sticky liquids, you want to make sure you have as many steps as possible. So in this case, I have a, like 30 steps per frame. So I use 30 and for the time scale, I use 0.3 because I want it to be this very slow sort of moving liquid. So that's why I, you know, I set the time scale to 0.3. So the lower it is, the more slower it's going to be. But then you have to add more steps as well. And then the default viscosity is the main value here. So the more viscous you want the fluid to be, the more you have to increase this. I think the maximum value is one. So I, I went up to. 0.75 and then the main the other setting uh, is the surface tension strength so it's it, 
um, for honey simulations or for sticky liquids, I usually, you know, whatever value is my uh, viscosity, I just put it there in the surface tension strength as well. But in this case, it didn't seem to be working. So it was not like very sticky. So it was just sliding off of the liquid like it is a bit right now. So what I had to do is I had to turn on uh, wetting and then increase the sticky liquid 2.6. So that's what's giving it this sort of, you know, uh, sort of, it, it will help it like stick better uh, to the objects. So until and unless I didn't use this uh, sticky liquid on, under wetting, it was not really working properly. So I had to, I had to do a lot of things, experimentations. And then I set it to like 0.6. So it was working for me. And those are the main settings that I, I just did. And uh, the simulation took uh, quite some time. So I, I cannot simulate it right now, but I do have like a single frame that I just like took my grid and converted it to editable poly. So I'm getting this mesh, but as you can see, it's not like very smooth. So you can you can definitely go and add like a turbo smooth modifier to smooth it out even more. But yeah, uh, if you can, definitely go ahead and increase the quality of your cells, your simulation, by increasing the resolution. So you can add it like 190 million. That would be crazy if it's going a little too much. So you can you can go ahead and lower it down manually, but not too much. So it was 97, so you can go ahead, probably like 126. Yeah, that's like a good value, so you can type it in as well. So let me go back to this scene here. And for the scene setup, I have basically three lights that are instanced. So I have one from the top and two from the sides with a multiplier of three. And I've added a dome light for the general sort of lighting of the scene, as you can see here. So it's, it's looking nice. And as for the shader of this, uh, I basically have um, a very simple shader. So if I hit M for the materials, so I have these materials and all of them will be included inside the, uh, inside my Patreon page. So you can go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, so here is the material. So I'm just gonna double click and it is, the color is sort of like a dark sort of brown color, but not too much saturation on it. And I gave it like almost full uh, sort of reflection. You can go full. And I had to give it a bit of glossiness, decrease it like 0.95 refraction all the way. And the most important thing is the fog color. So I gave it like a very in the middle sort of yellowish color so that's what's giving it this uh, uh, honey sort of look so you can you, you, sh you definitely have to play around with it in order to get the result that you're looking for but if I do apply this material to my mesh and take like a quick V-Ray IPR preview so you can see that it's looking it's looking nice actually so the um, Fog color is actually controlling that main shader. So if I change it to like a blue color, you can see that we have something completely different. I don't know what it is, probably like a jam. You can go with a jam or white, I don't know, like water, not like water, but some transparent sticky liquid. I don't know what it is. So so the, the, the fog color is really controlling the whole sort of honey shader you can go dark with it and yeah so here it is and yeah and I basically have a camera so if I hit C camera 2 this is what it's looking like for my Instagram and this is like the general view of it so it's looking pretty nice and the whole scene the project file and everything will be included in my Patreon page so you can go ahead and check it out. So this was the today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from it. And uh, until the next one, enjoy working.